vlog. So today, as you guys may know, if you watched the previous video, today is beach day. So we're gonna be heading to the beach. Um, this is gonna be the bathing suit that I have and I have like little shorts on um, for now too um, until, you know, we get there. But yeah, here's the kids. Say hi, Gia. Say hi. Okay. And then my son Bear is in the back. But yeah, guys. So oh let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm be putting on. So I'm gonna be using the YSL Libre. I'm gonna be spraying that. I'm gonna be using it today. So let me just put that on. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. I love Libre. And oh Bebby has on my shoes again. Um, can I see my shoes? Thank you. So I'm just gonna be wearing these pool slides, these Givenchy, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I'm gonna be wearing these pool slides to the beach because I'm not trying to wear any good shoes out there because um, yeah, I know it's gonna be a bunch of sand everywhere, so I just don't have the time. So yeah, I'm gonna wear those. And then I'm just gonna still wear the same like YSL bag because I really don't feel like switching my bag today at all so yeah that's pretty much the plans for today um yeah we really probably be getting there um in the next three hours so yeah it's a long drive ahead so i'll probably be, probably be stopping in between and then i gotta get the kids breakfast on the way and we all gotta get breakfast so yeah i might be stopping in between if not see you guys at the beach come on bear let's go i don't know come on Whoa. You get up there? Yeah. Into me. I'm out of here. Hey. All that design I know do you know justice. You one of a kind. Seen you like twice, but you know what they say that three times is a charm. You probably heard it a lot, but baby, why you looking so fine? KMT to the haters. Girl, where you been? Hiding out all day. I've been having all these dreams that you'll be mine someday. Ever since I saw you last, i been a call away. But you right here now. Let's close this. Hey guys, so we finally made it. We had hit traffic. We're just getting here and it is like six o'clock. But I honestly think it's good that we're here at six o'clock because the sun probably is gonna start going down because it's really hot. So I'm glad we did get here at that time. But yeah, we are on the move. That's Bear. <laughs> and uh, Bebby is with her father. They're leaving us, so we need to hurry up. All right, I'll just see, see you guys when we uh, find a spot on the beach. So we found the spot. Me and Bear is just chilling right here. Um, and we're waiting for Gia and her father to come back because they're in the water. They're like water babies. <laughs> um, me and Bear is over here and he's playing with his little shovel set. Y'all, this boy is really trying to eat sand out here. So it's really hard trying to get this baby, you know, to stop eating sand. So I got these two little um shovel sets you know to keep him occupied i hope like that's gonna keep him occupied for the time being because look at him he's really trying to eat sand like literally this little boy puts everything in his mouth i got him on this little towel to keep him away from the sand because he just don't know right now but yeah give me the strength because this whole beach trip is about to be crazy and once Gia and her father get back from the water, I'll probably take him down as well. I don't know. He doesn't really like the water, so we'll see. Case down, yeah. So come, baby, come, baby, come, baby, come, baby, come, baby, come. Won't you come here to me? I 
never let go Turn your life around cause she's special Add it to this out if you test though You don't find this one on the net, oh So don't test though, Hey, Baby, you're killing me small when you're smiling Wanna explore your talent Wondering where you have been Hiding out all day I've been having all these dreams that you'll be mine someday Ever since I saw you last time been a call away But you're right here now Let's burn this place down, yeah So come baby, come baby, come baby, come baby, come baby, come Won't you come here to me? Sorry I didn't vlog um, the whole day. We were on the beach, so I had a lot of stuff to do, you know, looking at the kids, as far as looking at the kids. Um, but yeah, we just got back to the hotel. Um, I want to give them a bath. Um, somehow work with the shower because my kids aren't used to showering. They normally take baths, but yeah, they didn't give me a bathtub. So yeah, I have to work with the shower. So yeah. That's pretty much all with this vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll probably be taking the kids to the aquarium or the uh, zoo. So yeah, see you guys later. Hey guys. So if you're wondering um, what happened last night, yeah, after dinner, I got really tired. I probably didn't even close out this vlog, well, the previous vlog, but I'm just gonna start a new one. So, <laughs> welcome to today. Um, I don't know what we are gonna be doing today. We might do the aquarium. Well, I think we're gonna do the aquarium for sure, but we might do the zoo, uh, being as though like it's really hot. It's like 100 degrees, so I don't know about the zoo, taking the kids out and walking around. I'm still like on the fence about it. We'll see though as the day goes on. But yeah, these are the views here. As you guys can see, we're like kind of like on the little beach section of the, like, I guess the hotel. Um, it's actually really nice. So yeah, we might just, um, we're probably not gonna do the beach again today though. It's super hot and I don't feel like getting no more sand on me or my kids because getting sand off is a headache. But yeah, we're probably just gonna just hang around probably at the little pool area today um, before we go ahead and go to the aquarium. I don't even know if I'm gonna put the kids in the pool though because I don't feel like getting chlorine out of their hair now that I'm thinking about it. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. And then I'll just, you know, come back on here and keep you guys updated. So we just got to the Rain Rainforest Cafe. This is my first time trying this place, so I really hope it's good. So we'll see. ended up eating Landry seafood um, and it was really good I had a Mai Tai and I had some like jumbo stuffed shrimp jumbo crab stuffed shrimp and it was really good so yeah I definitely recommend that by the way if you're looking for something <laughs> got to this uh, contemporary art museum so I'm gonna see how this was looking 
um right now we're in a parking lot but once we get in there i'll show you guys some if they let me uh like record but also with the aquarium we pulled up to the aquarium and um there was a line like 50 plus people outside so i don't know if we're gonna go there but we're pretty much just probably just gonna play it i guess throughout the day and see how it goes um but yeah we're gonna stop past there after the art museum see how the line is looking and then maybe we might go in there because it's really hot like we're in houston by the way so it's hot so yeah it's like 100 degrees out here so um yeah we'll just see see you guys later say hi papa say hi papa baby say hi you say hi oh uh, yes you showed him your turtle yeah that's a nice turtle <laughs> Nice. You just show it to them? All right, Papa, time to go in the museum. art museum that we went to was a contemporary one i show i should have showed like brief video of that that one was really good actually it was very like cultured if you know what i mean so <laughs> i really like that one but we are about to go in a different one um where is this one it's like it, oh it's fine arts so it's a fine arts one so i think it's gonna be like what is it light shows light shows oh okay well i'll show you guys all right see you later
up finding like another type of aquarium it's like an outdoor type of aquarium i don't really know like what this is honestly but it looks pretty cool bevy is over there scared because she doesn't like big animals so this camel right here i don't know if you can see that camel but yeah that camel is scaring the daylights out of her so i don't know how long we're gonna stay here but it seems like it's kind of like a partial like indoor and outdoor type of a uh, place it kind of looks like a farm or something out here and then inside i guess it's a uh, like the aquarium like the underwater stuff but we'll see once we get in there i really don't know like what this is about my hair is just sweating out but i don't know what this is about but we'll see okay so we are indoors and it is like kind of like an aquarium inside it's like reptiles and stuff here it is here Look, you can, I think you can give all the animals it honestly looks like a little rainforest or something in here, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Bubby decided to get down now um, because the animals in here are smaller than the ones that were outside, so... Pig say oink. What does the cow say? Yes, moo. You see the cow? What's that in your hair, Bubba? That's a cow. That's a baby cow. What does they call it? Calf? A baby cow? Let's go. You say bye? bye. Say bye to the animals. Hey guys, sorry I didn't vlog last night. But last night we made it back home from Houston and we just ended up going to sleep. And um, today we were like, yeah, we don't want this weekend to be over. So 
we ended up booking like a local hotel here so we could use like their pool and stuff and just have a good time for the 4th of July weekend. So I might vlog today um, and include that in the video as well, uh, like an add-on. So yeah, we about to have some fun. About to go to the little resort and um, put the kids in the pool. And yeah, that's gonna be all. So we made it to the other hotel. G is in the pool with her dad. We found like the indoor pool option because the outdoor option was uh, pretty crowded. So they're in there and Bear is sleep on me. <laughs> I don't know if I should wake him up because I feel like if I wake him up, he's gonna be grumpy um, and then just throwing him in the water. Yeah, that's probably gonna make him grumpy. So I'll probably just let him sleep a little bit more, probably for like another 20 minutes and then I'll put him in. But yeah, this is a pretty nice hotel. Um, yeah, so we pretty much should have fun for today. And then um, tomorrow I'll probably be going to my family's house for a cookout for the 4th of July, but I don't know if I'm a vlog. So if I don't vlog, then yeah, that's probably gonna be it for this video, but all right, see you guys later. He doesn't wanna get in the water. Yeah, into me. I'm out of yeah. hey. All that designer, no do you no justice, you one of a kind. Hey guys, so we are back home. Uh, this weekend was definitely packed. Like, it was jam-packed. We did a lot of fun stuff, which I am really proud of us because normally, like, three-day weekends like this, like, we really don't be doing much. Like, we'll just go, like, see the fireworks, do the normal stuff. Um, hit the town, go eat, you know, normal stuff. But we were like, no, we need to actually do something. And even if it was just local, you know, like in Texas, we still stayed in Texas, like it was still something to do. So I'm glad we got out and we went to like the beach and we actually like did stuff. Now the aquarium, the zoo, that stuff we do like on a regular, but the beach is kind of like out the norm for us. Like we don't do that all the time. And by the way, the beach that we did go to, it was Galveston. That beach actually shocked me because it wasn't actually all that bad, like shockingly to be in Texas. Um, so I really like that one. Now the water wasn't like crystal clear and you know, like it's not like that. It's like a gulf, so it's not really like a beach. <laughs> but yeah, it was it would do. Like, you know, if you're local here in Texas, you know we ain't got no beaches. So if you don't want to go that far, you know, Galveston, um, South Padre, Corpus, I'm not really a fan of, but to each his own so if you want to go to somewhere like that that's also another destination and i think they have like little other little mini beaches as well that you know you can get familiar with and enjoy as well and they're not really expensive so um that was what we did we started off you know going to galveston and um what else did we do i like almost forgot oh okay and then we ended up going to houston because houston isn't that far so we ended up driving to Houston and then we were going to at first go to that downtown aquarium, which is like super big. It got like a lot of attraction in there. I really honestly am still mad that we didn't get to go, but the line was so long and I really didn't know like how long was the wait. Like I kept asking like the people that worked there and they just didn't know. So I was just like, yeah, let us go find another aquarium because I'm not standing out here in like a hundred degree weather with kids. <laughs> So, and especially my daughter, like, she doesn't sit still. She literally wants to be on the move. So, I'm like, yeah, there's no way I can stay in the line. Like, so, we ended up finding another aquarium. I don't know what that aquarium was called, but I will, like, list it below um, in the description on what it was called. But I did show you guys, like, some footage of it. Um, it was, like, kind of like a petting zoo and then, like, a regular zoo and, like, a reptile part. And then it was like an aquarium all in one. Like it was a lot. And then also they had like an arcade, but I did not show you the arcade. Like it was like a big like jump land in there and like an arcade, but we didn't end up going in there. We just ended up like walking through the zoo, walking through the aquarium stuff like that. But the pricing is kind of expensive. Just so you guys know, it's like probably like $30 a person. I'm not really sure, but we did get a discount um through military so they do do that if any of you guys are military we did get a discount for that 
Um, now, it is worth it if you guys are into petting animals, but, like, if you're not into petting animals, like, it's kind of not worth it unless you just want to, you know, walk around and look at look at stuff and sightsee. It's definitely good for, like, having a good time, I would say. So, we still enjoyed it overall, but, like, our kids aren't that old enough to, like, go and play in the jump land with all the big kids and stuff like that, so... We didn't really get like our money's worth, but if you have a little bit older kids, like around the ages of, I would say like five and up, they may have like a good time. So I would definitely recommend that. And then we ended up coming home. <laughs> we ended up coming home yesterday and we were like, yeah, we're bored. Like, let's find something to do. Now we were going to book like a local day pass at you know one of the resorts that we normally go to in the city but they're all booked out and i knew they were all going to be booked out because it is the fourth of july weekend we should have like planned it out way ahead but we ended up finding another like resort and they didn't offer the day passes so we just had to book a room um just to use the pool which was kind of a bummer but we really wanted to go to the pool and we wanted uh bevy to have a good time at the pool so we just ended up booking a room and then we ended up being in a pool and then we just checked out today which we're back home <laughs> but yeah overall like we had an amazing time um i don't know if i mentioned tomorrow we're going to be going to my mom's house because she is barbecuing so we're going to be going there and then um we're going to just end it off watching the fireworks i probably won't vlog all of that i'll probably actually this will probably be the end of the vlog but yeah let me let you let me know like what you guys want to see on this channel i'm definitely open to ideas and suggestions i do have a lot of like ideas in mind like i definitely want to start doing reviews because i feel like we do visit like a lot of hotels we visit a lot of resorts and just destinations in general where we're always like even going to museums that's just something big that we always do like we always go to museums and stuff so i definitely want to start reviewing these destinations that i go to just to you know give you guys insight on a lot of you know different destinations to visit while you're in texas um and then i do love starbucks like who doesn't love starbucks so <laughs> i'm gonna start reviewing like all the new stuff like you know dealing with starbucks anything involving starbucks i'm just gonna start reviewing now next on sunday i'll probably be doing like a maintenance vlog um because i do need to get my nails and my feet done so if i can find time throughout the week i'll probably just record all of that and i did just get waxed so i probably i'm not going to be including that in the the maintenance vlog it'll just probably be like nose toes and like personal grooming um skincare stuff like that just the norm but yeah that's probably all oh also our hawaii trip is coming up soon so we will be um we will be doing i will, well i will be doing a maintenance vlog as well for that because i need to get my hair done um right now i have a weave in but i'm definitely about to be taking this out because yeah i'm about to get my hair done <laughs> for my trip and i'm gonna get my nose and toes done redid uh, by that time but yeah i'm definitely gonna do a maintenance uh vlog for that and I'll probably be getting waxed and everything to hold on in that video. But yeah, that is all for today's vlog. Like, I guess the weekend vlog slash 4th of July. <laughs> That's all. And if you guys made it this far, which I hope you guys did make it this far. Thank you guys. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.